Okay, so at a retail park, yes, one of our favourite places to go, <laughs> which is not very often actually lately. We ain't been one uh, to a retail park for a bit. Uh, as you can see, it's a rather busy one. I don't know if you can see through there, really. Let's get to the back here. There's Charles, look. Yeah, you alright, mate? Oh, he's going, oh my god, he's got the camera out again. So, uh, yeah, we are at, uh, some of you in Coventry might recognise it. This is called Gallagher Retail Park. And now there's quite a few stores here. Uh, I remember when Comet used to be over there. Now it's uh, Aldi. There's, uh, so we've got Pets at, Pets at Home, Matalan, SCS, Maplins, Mattress Man, <laughs> Pound Stretcher, uh, what else is there? Poundland over there, Argos, TK Maxx, B&M's, Benson's Beds, and I know there's, uh, there's a subway, I've never been into one, but there's one there. And up there, there's a McDonald's, Dreams, the Bed Specialist, and something else up there I can't read. My God. Oh, there's a lot of choice here, a lot of choice. So... Jan's gone over to B&M's. She don't like walking, you know. <laughs> uh, I parked over here because it was the easiest place to park. And you're not bothering anybody back here. And she wanted me to park where B&M's is, which is right over there. Who you take that far? What are you doing? There's no dog dogs around here, mate. So don't start barking. Silly boy. Silly boy. So anyway, she's gone to B&M's, she's, um, I'm not sure what she's buying from B&M's, can't remember now. So, B&M's, uh, we've got to go to Aldi and do a bit of shopping. Um, yeah, it's all back to normal now, We're all back to normal now. Let's, uh, let's see, you can see Charlie boy, he's down here. Um, so yeah, all back to normal now. So, uh... Yeah, I've got to go with B&M's myself. Now this is one of them times, you see, where I've said it before, that when we go to places like this, me and Jan can't go together really very well because, okay, that's it, see better now. Um, Cause it's, it, it's too dodgy, isn't it? You know, leaving the dog in the van, you know, some people might think, well, that's a good idea. He's like a guard dog. You'd lick him to death. <laughs> So I'm a bit worried um, about leaving Charlie in here by himself while we go off into one of these stores. We, we did try it once in uh, Retail Park in Rugby, Junction 1, I think it was called, Retail Park. And um, 
we, 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 we virtually ran round B and M's, <laughs> worried to death that something might be happening, like you know, with Charlie. So, uh, so I'm just trying to get the camera straight. That's better. So we've decided that uh, we must stick to our own rules, and that is when you come to a retail park, mainly because of Charlie. You know, don't leave him on his own. It's not that he can't cope with that. I'm sure he can. It's not that. It's, if anybody ever steals the van and Charlie's in it, I'd, I'd rather be dead afterwards, to be honest. I couldn't live with myself after that. It upset me so much. It killed me. So, um, yeah, I don't really want to think about it. So, of course, so by doing this, you know, uh, so when she comes out of B&M, she, I think she's coming back here first, I think, before she goes to Aldi. But I've got, oh, Matalan's in the corner as well. Yeah, Matalan, yeah, I've got to go, I've got to go nip into Matalan. I'll have a look in there. But I also want to go to B&M's. I've got to get, you know the, the phone holders that go on your windscreen or whatever, on your dashboard or whatever, um, that go in your vehicle. Uh, well, mine broke the other day, I'm a bit, bit gutted, because I really like that. <laughs> it fitted every phone. <laughs> No matter what phone you had, it fitted, it was adjustable. And it broke the other day. What are you doing? You're waiting, you're waiting patiently. Yeah, so it broke the other day, I was really annoyed. So I thought, what I'll do, in fact, I'll show you what I've done with the uh, motorhome sat nav. Because it keeps falling off the windscreen all the time, because them sucker things never stick. So what I've done, I've done that look, can you see? Because there's actually another base you can use. If you can see or not. <laughs> That's it. There's another base with a sticky pad underneath and you can stick them on your dashboard then. So I've done that. And it's right in front, look. And we steering wheel. I've got loads of space to view out before anybody says, oh, it's blocking your view. Because to be honest, look. What view are you blocking there, look? A little tiny bit. But I do remember some years ago somebody telling me that uh, if ever you do anything like that, just remove it before you go for an MOT because they'll probably say, yeah, it's blocking your view. So I'll, I'll make sure and I'll take it off for the MOTs, but it's not hardly blocking anything. So that's perfect to me. So now I only got to glance down as I'm going along rather than, uh, oh, rather than having to sort of look for the thing, you know, down on the bottom of the windshield lot, like, you know. So I thought that was a good idea. And the other thing is, of course, the suckers, they never stick. So like, um, it keeps falling off all the time off the, off the windscreen, off the glass. So I put that on there like that and I thought, you know what? When I get a new phone holder, I'm gonna actually get, do the same thing. I'm gonna actually stick them to the dashboard rather than to the uh, glass because they keep falling off all the time. You're going along and it's like, Doo, something's falling off, you know. So yeah, I've got <laughs> a bit of a uh, scarf hanging around my neck now. I look a bit girlish, don't I, with this sometimes. But uh, I'm not wearing one of them silly masks. So um, yeah, I just pull this up and I go in the shop. There we go, look. And I can breathe, because it's only fitting. So uh, <laughs> yes, I know. She's gone to the shop, isn't she, mate? She's gone to the shop. Oh, scratch inside of your leg. Yes, yes, that calms you down a little bit. I know B&M's have got, because I looked on the website, I don't know if we've got them in stock here, oh, we'll have to see. Uh, I've got fat in this, don't I? It's, it's weight, it is cushions behind me, that's what it is. <coughs> that's, it. that's better. Look, yeah, I'm not so bad now, I'm not so bad now. <laughs> so yeah, uh, on their website, they do supposed to have one of these um, universal phone holders for your dashboard. So uh, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get one if they got one in there. Have a quick look round while I'm here. It's not very often I've managed to go into places like this, to be honest. So I need a bit of retail therapy. <laughs> so yeah, so it's all back to normal now. Jan's back. Dog's happy. Well, he was until we come here. And you can't go out and have a look, walk around. I might actually take him a little walk over there in a minute. Some bushes or something. But um <laughs> so you can have a wee but, um, but yeah so yeah uh, trying to think what else there is to tell you really um, we are currently on a site for a few days before we plan um, 
what where we're going to go to next uh, that's the thing with this life I've said it before that we don't constantly travel because if you do something like that it's going to cost you a fortune this life you don't want this life to cost you a fortune um, soon go for what money you get so um, or got so what we do we do settle down somewhere for a few days a bit like South Gear we was there for nearly a week um, that's the idea don't keep moving around why why do you have to keep moving around you know so so yeah uh, so what is one thing I can tell you though and that is that very soon we'll be having Raven Girl in fact by the time you see this video mm, might already have Raven Girl <laughs> and on our road trip because that's what we're planning on doing we're planning on going a road trip a short one with Raven Girl uh, probably to a seaside place um, yeah you got up then didn't you when I said seaside yes he likes his seaside so we, we won't be south gear because that's 180 odd miles away from where raven girl lives uh, for a short few days it's not worth the journey um, so it'll be a, a place that's not too far not quite sure you got a couple couple of places we're thinking of um, here bub bit of an here bub <laughs> so yeah so he's going to enjoy that of course uh right so also oh yeah one one thing one thing now a lot of other van lifers do this on youtube and and it seemed to be a popular thing to do um we've never really done it and that is have like a q and a i do we have done the odd one in the past um but i think it's time to do a more regular one because there's always loads of questions out there so my feeling on the matter is I think it's time we started doing a regular Q&A spot I don't know if it's going to be once every couple of weeks once a week I, I don't know yet but but basically if anybody's got any questions for us uh, to do with van life um, or anything else really as long as it ain't too personal <laughs> um, yeah if you don't delve too much into us <laughs> Uh, I may answer your questions uh, or Jan uh, or both of us um, so yeah so if you've got any questions for any future Q&A video which will be soon uh, leave it below in the comments uh, leave a question put um, so I know it's actually a question for an up-and-coming video put hashtag many fun adventures before your question and then it will stand out to me and I'll know not to answer it in the comments and I'll answer it on a video okay or possibly answer it on a video depending on what you ask so yeah do that put hashtag many fun adventures followed by your question and then I'll know uh, that you mean it for a um, up and coming Q&A video I seem to have a traffic warden type of person walking up here probably go around checking on the, the vehicles and what time they arrive we stand out like a sore thumb I bet they think we're gypsies <laughs> I look like one with a scarf on there <laughs> right so I'm going to go I'm not going to oh, you see you thought I was going to say sign off didn't you I'm going to sign off <laughs> and I'll speak to you all again soon so ta-da for now mm -hmm.